At the end of the day, we can just like dedicate ourselves to transformation and that's great. But if that transformation takes us out of the present moment, we've missed the point because we don't have future self. I don't have future Joel and I don't have past Joel. I only have this moment. I'm not transforming into something different. I'm, I am, it is already me. I am it. I am all that I need to be. I am whole, but I have to, if we, you know, if we, if we talk about using, if using that word transformation, it's a process of elimination. It's a process of removal back to who we are. We aren't adding our way with all the skills that we know and learn, right? We're, we're, we're distilling down to our essence. Um, and that, that might not be you know, how people think about it. That's, I'm not talking about transforming as a businessman. As a businessman or woman, yes, you have to learn skills you have to add so that you're, you're better at that thing. If you're a basketball player, you have to learn, you have to transform into a better basketball player. But as a human being, I think it's the reverse. Right. I think it's it's actually getting back to an acceptance and love um, for ourselves. It's a letting go of our 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 traumas, the things that hurt us in our life, the things that made us sad, the things that made us angry that we held on to. The things that we read and learn are all about how to not hold on to those things mm -hmm. and how to come back to here, which is the idea of the book, Getting Naked, is getting back to this thing. And so, um, it's, so in, in fact, in many ways, I'm trying less hard to transform than I used to try, right? I'm trying to be less rigid. I'm trying to be less structured. I, I don't have to meditate for a certain period of time every day in order to to transform i'm trying to be like when i can like the water adaptable today i didn't meditate that's okay i'm adapting to the flow of this day right and that's because the because at the end of the day we can just like dedicate ourselves to transformation and that's great but if that transformation takes us out of the present moment we've missed the point because we don't have future self I don't have future Joel and I don't have past Joel. I only have this moment. And sometimes the transformation can be like, well, if I do this, I'm going to be better than. And that's true. In if we're talking about skills and, you know, if I keep practicing piano, I'm going to get better then. But I don't have them again. I don't have it. It does not exist. This is what I have. And so if we get present in, this moment in our journey, in our life, this idea that I need to transform dissolves because then we look around and we, we see beautiful faces of our friends and our family and we, we feel the wind on our skin and we smell maybe the, the air is you know, floral or it's fresh and we, we, we don't have the need to change any of it, right? Um, and to me, that's that's the most rich we could ever be. Is if we if we look around in this moment and and enjoy it for all that it is. Um, even if that's just five minutes, and then you know we go back to being focused on future mm -hmm. tasks and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> and I'm not suggesting not to do that. We're humans, and we're we're driven by our purpose. But if we're only driven by our purpose, we miss the point. We're